Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Just today, the PDF became an official ISO standard, and that means that uh, you're going to see PDFs show up in a lot more places. PDF software, of course, has been around for a while, but uh, now PDF is going to be the DF to beat portable document format. So I said DF document format, not to be confused with Daring Fireball, completely different DF, good DF. Um, now, which is better, the Daring Fireball or the PDF? I'm going to you know, leave that argument for another day. Anyway, I happened to uh, come across a, a new beta invitation to a Firefox add-in that I'd never heard of before. Uh, uh, you know, until I, I looked at the link and never really, you know, thought about using it. Uh, but if Firefox were my default browser on Windows, well, then I would certainly sit up and pay attention. With this free add-on, pdfdownload.org, and currently they've released 1.0. They're working on a 2.0 beta, which you can sign up for, and they've got a couple of features inside it. What this will do is it'll add this little icon inside of Firefox, on Windows at least, and then you can press that button and instantaneously save that web page as a PDF. Now, in the version 2.0, they've done the styles a little better uh, than, they, than I guess they were available to you in version 1.0. But if you've always wanted to save a website as a PDF, as a document for you know, perusing at any point in the future, there's probably no easier way, if you use Firefox, than to use this particular extension. Now, if you're like me, if you're running Mac OS X, well, then printing to a PDF is built right into the whole operating system. Viewing PDFs is built right into the operating system. It's really kind of nice. I got to tell you, it's very convenient. It's something that I've used on several occasions without even having to worry about it. So uh, if you've never wanted to use Firefox, maybe this would uh, put you over the uh, top. Well, you know, if you, if you really want to have PDFs and you're thinking, well, Chris, why would I want a PDF? Well, they're nice. And I don't mean in the, the sense that, ooh, that PDF, boy, it smells like raspberries. No, I mean uh, you're able to save the text inside this document uh, that could then be indexed uh, by your desktop search tool. So if you're looking for information, you could uh, key into, well, whatever operating system you're using, assuming you've got desktop search. Maybe it's Beagle on Linux, Spotlight on Mac OS X, and, and hopefully Copernic, uh, which is the free tool available for Windows users, the one that I, uh, I back. Um, Copernic.com for that one in case you were wondering. Then if you're searching for the information, you'll be able to pull it up because it will be sitting inside of that PDF. As long as the PDF is not just a, a graphic, it's actual text inside that PDF. Now, the beauty of the PDF is that if uh, a company or a business or maybe an individual creates a PDF, uh, it will retain the same layout no matter which computer it's run on. It's portable. Uh, now, some PDFs are larger than others, uh, depending on how much has been done or how many pages are inside a PDF. Most manuals that you would download from the internet are uh, in, uh, available largely in PDF because uh, you're able to search through the data inside a PDF. In fact, most of my manuals I much prefer in PDF uh, because of that. Uh, if I'm looking for a keyword inside any kind of document, I want to have a document that looks good, uh, that it's, it's full on text, uh, that can be searched. Uh, that is indexable. Um, I have liked PDFs for a long time for that very reason. Uh, this is not something that you're going to get with the Adobe Reader. Uh, if you want to do more, at least in, a, in an Adobe capacity, you'll need to purchase Adobe Acrobat software, which isn't cheap. This extension, however, is free. Would have come in handy when I was telling you about that website, wordle.net, you remember? Some of you guys weren't listening during the video and you said, well, this sucks, I couldn't print out what I made. If you had this extension, you could have printed out your wordle.net uh, word creation and we'd all be happier. Of course, I'd be much happier if you just listened rather than complaining, but can't stop you. I'm just happy that I have your attention, if only for a little while. So if you know of any other really cool Firefox extension, maybe you know of a really good PDF tool you want to pass along, uh, feel free to drop me a line. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Uh, and you're also welcome to stop by the chat room, which is uh, pretty much, uh, well, it's always open. I mean, we're talking about everything, whether it's software, hardware, internet, Firefox, 
um, video games, I mean, you name it. It's usually related to technology, but you never really know. Sometimes uh, I may be passing along a photo that I just uploaded to my Flickr account, the most recent of which was uh, a creation uh, that someone made, a mosaic of my face, uh, based off of uh, uh, some freeware I found for the Mac that I blogged about the other day. Hopefully you're subscribed to my blog. It's at the same place where you can find this live video streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.